I know many people look upon meditation as a, a form of escapism. This is something that I quite often hear. Mm. What would you say to that? I think this whole notion of escapism, or escape even, has to be looked at quite closely. Uh, I used to get a bit annoyed when I heard people criticizing meditation and uh, spiritual life generally as escapism. Because it seems to me that uh, the lives of those very people were absolutely riddled with escapism. Huh? That the, the life itself was one long escapism. Yeah. But they, they watched uh, television maybe for four or five hours a day. Isn't that escapism? They, they, they take alcohol, even sometimes get drunk. Isn't that escapism? Uh, so many things that they do are just escapism. But of course, one has to understand what escapism really is. I would say escapism is, is, is really a refusal to, to experience oneself and to look at oneself. Hmm. And one is certainly not doing that in the case of meditation. But one is certainly doing it in, in, in the, the, the course of, uh, well, the majority almost of the activities that people normally engage in. So I think it's really quite laughable and quite ridiculous for people whose lives are absolute embodiments of escapism to, 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 to say that meditation is escapism. Mm. Mm -hmm. When, if anything, meditation is the exact opposite. You're not running away from yourself. You're taking a look at yourself. Mm -hmm. You're trying to experience yourself more positively, trying to be more positive, trying to be uh, more genuinely an individual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the very antithesis of escapism. Mm -hmm.